Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are getting ready together. I'm going to show you guys pretty much how I take my photos at home. So I'm going to take you guys with me on the getting ready process, getting my hair ready, my outfit ready, and my makeup ready. So if you guys are interested in this video, make sure you guys keep on watching. But before we get started, I do want to share with you guys that this video is sponsored by Savage X Fenty and I am so excited for that because you guys don't understand how much I really like the pieces and I just can't wait to share them with you guys. So if you guys didn't know, Savage X Fenty is a lingerie line that carries different styles, different sizes. They do run from 32A all the way to 42H, which I love. Quality is amazing. It is really stretchy. It is really smooth. Nothing is, you know, uncomfortable. And you guys, the best thing about it is that literally everything Thing. when I say everything I mean everything is less than $50 which honestly sometimes it is pretty hard to find good quality lingerie that is less than $50 so let me just share with you guys some of my favorite pieces at the moment so number one are these PJs right here so this is pretty much a want see and I love it it is so comfortable let me just go ahead and zoom this out I'm gonna go ahead and put the names of everything right here but this is honestly my number one out of everything that I'm gonna show you guys so it looks pretty much it's super cute all right second piece that i have is this one right here also you guys my favorite part is the back which is backless how cute does that look like i just i love the back it is so cute okay this one right here is my second favorite or if not it's my first favorite so if you guys are looking for anything for the holidays i would really really recommend this one if you guys want to be comfortable the long seat if you guys want something sexy i recommend this one this is the next one that i have my favorite part about this is the clip-on and just the style of this it's just so comfortable and i love it it's a comfortable with a bit of sexiness to it because it is a type of lace and I just, I really like it. These are the bottoms right here. Again, they're super comfortable. These ones are high rise, so they go all the way up right here. And it is like a high leg cut as well. Okay, so this one right here is also one of my top favorites because I love the color of this. And also it has a high leg cut and it does have like this keyhole right here in the front, which is a bit sexy. Honestly, my favorite part about this, like I said before, is the color. The color is just stunning and I love it. So... This is the way that this one looks. Everything, both of these are really, really stretchy. And the leggings, of course, are high-waisted because your girl cannot live without high-waisted pants. And yeah, I feel like this is honestly really cute, really huggable. And they're getting really comfortable. You can literally be wearing it at home. Super comfy. And yeah, doesn't like this. Like, it's so cute. So if you guys are interested in anything that I just mentioned or showed, make sure you guys go down to the description box where you guys will see a link at the very top. Click on that and it will take you to the Savage X Fenty website. So you guys, they're actually having a sale right now, which is 65% off the entire website. Plus, you guys get free shipping if you guys become an extra VIP member, which is honestly an amazing deal. And if I were you guys, I would honestly take advantage of it because I don't know if they're ever going to have 65% off the entire website again. So, And once again, thank you so much to Savage X Fenty for sponsoring this video. And let's go ahead and get back to the video. Okay, so let's get started. So I already went ahead and primed my face and moisturized it. So we're going to get started with foundation. So I'm just going to dab it everywhere. Okay. Then I go ahead and use my sponge and I just blend everything together. Okay, so now I'm going to apply my concealer, which is the darkest shade that I have. It's pretty much just like my foundation color and I'm going to apply it to any dark spots that I have or pimples. Now for the fun part, I use the lighter concealer and this one I do apply it under my eyes. And now I just go ahead and apply it like that, the inner corner and then the outer corner, the bridge of my nose. And now I'm going to go ahead and start blending my under eye concealer. I'm going to set my face and I use the regular powder to set over my face and then just to reverse contour, I use the lighter powder. Now to reverse contour, I go ahead and just get my lighter powder, which is pretty much white. But first I'm going to go ahead and lightly contour it with my bronzer. And I'm also going to set the concealer at the top right here. It looks like a mess, but it's going to come out better, I promise. Meanwhile, that says we're going to go ahead and do our bronzer. And I actually already ran out of bronzer. And I like a lot of color on my face now. So literally just scraping this thing. I always add it to my cheeks and not my, not the hollows of the cheeks. Because then it's too low. And I always add it here to the temple. I don't know why, but I like that part bronzed. So 
sharp bronze, all of this. Now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing with the bronze, so just quickly add it to my eyes. Also having coffee because I have not eaten and I am really hungry. So, you know, a little bit of coffee. This one is from Wendy's. This is actually my first time trying this coffee, so. Later on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply more bronzer if I feel like I need to. I usually do, but for now, I'm gonna leave it like that. And we are going to take off this powder right here. Now, to give it dimension, I'm gonna go ahead and just contour it a bit more. First, before I do that, I go ahead and do my blush. I know I'm all over the place. Same with the blush, we're stacking it on. I do apply it to the apples on my cheeks, you could say, but I try to always do it a little bit higher. If you do apply it exactly like right here to your apples, it's a bit low, so you are gonna look like really like dragged down. So I always try to apply it kind of like over here, like really high up. So I'm just gonna apply it on her. Like literally like right under my eye, that's where I apply it. And then I do drag it up a bit. And it's gonna fade away, so it's not gonna look this harsh. Okay, so now to contour my face and my nose, I'm gonna use my contouring palette. And I'm going to just do everything right under the hollows of my cheeks. Now I'm gonna do my nose. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my winged liner with my powder, my brown powder. Okay, so moving on, I am going to be adding eyeliner to my waterline. Trust me when I say it makes your eyes stand out so much more, but in a very subtle way. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line the upper part. I do always use a brown eyeliner, but I sadly ran out. So I'm gonna use black. It's not the same. I repeat, it's not the same. But I need to go get a brown one ASAP. I actually need to buy a few things. And I'm thinking that I should probably do like a shop with me and get some of my favorite things. Let me know because I need a few things. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes now. We'll be right back. I don't feel like there's gonna be such a difference. It's gonna look a little bit similar to what I already have going on. So just three, two, one. Okay, so moving on, we are going to our lips. And you guys, look at my little pencil. I'm telling you guys, I need to go shopping because everything that I have now is like almost gone or it's already gone. I'm gonna use my little lip liner and just overline my lips. Okay, and now a little bit of gloss. It's just clear gloss. I always go in with clear gloss. Alright, and this looks like the final makeup look. It's pretty basic, pretty simple, literally what I always do. Okay, so it's time to do my hair. This is the way that I usually do things when I'm like not filming. So I always strain my hair first, which I already have it done. And I don't really do my hair, just strain it and then I go ahead and get into my makeup. Once I'm done with my makeup, I go ahead and change into my outfit and then I fix my hair. This time I'm going to do it the other way just because I'm not sure what outfit I'm going to be wearing. So I'm going to go ahead and do my hair first. I'm going to connect my strainer and I am going to kind of do my hair really quickly. Also, you guys, I feel like my hair is a little bit longer. What do you guys think? From the last time that I showed it to you guys, I feel like it's grown like half an inch or an inch. And I am thinking of cutting it a bit more because it already looks long. Or either I got used to it or... I don't know. Pull it in and you guys are going to see right now the end results. I will be right back. Okay, so I'm done and this is the way that I ended up styling it. It's kind of like a straight and curly hairstyle, I guess. I just go ahead and curl it in. And this is how it ends up looking like. And yeah, this is what I've been doing usually every time that I'm getting ready. I just do this hairstyle. Sometimes I do add like little accessories to my hair, like clips or something. And today I'm actually going to do that. And these are the little clips that I'm going to be adding today. They're like these tiny little clips okay, so i just added the clips and that's how they look i feel like they just look so cute like it's just very simple but it looks really cute sometimes i add like the big clip in the back where you just kind of do like a bun it's what i had earlier except it was really ugly i'm gonna move you guys to the other side because i kind of like the other side i actually want to take three photos today i'll show you guys how i take my photos here at home which is pretty like basic i feel like it's pretty boring okay so this is how the outfit looks like like i said you guys have already seen this because i showed it to you guys at the beginning of the video but i do need to take a photo for my instagram which by the way if you guys haven't followed me yet you guys should definitely follow me so you can see how these photos turned out and also i need to take a photo for this thumbnail which i'm not sure which one i'm going to use out of the three but i do need a photo for the thumbnail so for photos at home i usually do like to be like in white walls i would suggest to get a white wall or like a very light colored wall okay so once i'm ready to take the photo i'm gonna go ahead and bring this down and now the sunlight is coming in to the other side so that is when i take you guys to the other side put it all the way over here so if you guys see on my instagram i actually just have a blank wall and that is all and then i go ahead and move this 
Okay, so now what I do with my phone is I either place it right here and I try to take my own selfies right here by putting the self timer or I call my mom and she goes ahead and takes pictures of me and I do use the back camera of my phone. The iPhone that I have is the iPhone 8 Plus and I put the self timer, literally run and post. Again. So I've been taking a few and since I still have to edit them, but I have a few right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and pretty much pick one and start editing. I'm going to take another photo with and I am going to take the pictures. And yeah, that's pretty much I have the photos. I did take a few and as you can see, I just need to pick. Well, yeah, I guess this is pretty much the end of the video. I feel like it was kind of hard to show you guys how I take photos. By the way, you guys should definitely leave recommendations down below because I don't know what to film anymore. I think I have a few ideas, but I still want to add more ideas to my idea list. Just in case you guys want something like specific, you know. Bye!